Welcome to the Atal Tinkering Lab video series. I am sure you are eager to learn about another new sensor to help you better think. In this video series, we'll explore all the equipment detailed in your Atal manual and show you the incredible projects you can build with them. So, let's start tinkering. Water is life. From the rivers in nature to the taps in our homes, water travels a long way to reach us. But have you ever wondered how we measure water flow? Let's explore the story of the water flow sensor, a small device with big possibilities. In this video, we'll explore a water flow sensor, how it works, how to use it with Arduino, and some fun applications. A water flow sensor is a smart gadget that measures how much water flows through a pipe. It's small but powerful, with a plastic body and a tiny wheel inside called a rotor. It even has a magnetic sensor that counts how many times the wheel spins. This helps us calculate the flow rate of water. A water flow sensor may look simple, but it's a compact device packed with essential components, each playing a crucial role. First, we have the turbine wheel. As water flows through the sensor, it spins the turbine wheel. The speed of its rotation is directly related to the water flow rate. Faster flow means the turbine spins faster. Next is the magnet. This tiny but powerful magnet is embedded in the turbine wheel. As the wheel spins, the magnet's movement generates a magnetic field. The Hall effect sensor detects changes in the magnetic field created by the spinning magnet. It converts this motion into electrical pulses and sent to a microcontroller for further analysis. The sealer is a crucial part that keeps the sensor watertight. It prevents water from leaking out, ensuring accurate measurements and protecting the internal electronics. The water inlet and outlet guide water through the sensor in one direction. This allows the turbine wheel to spin freely and measure the flow rate effectively. When water flows through the inlet, it spins the turbine wheel. The magnet's rotation creates pulses that are captured by the Hall effect sensor. These pulses are then sent to a microcontroller to calculate the flow rate. Now, let's connect the water flow sensor to an Arduino. The Arduino reads the sensor's signals and converts them into data we can understand, like flow rate or total water used. Now, let's take a closer look at the pins of the water flow sensor and how they connect to our projects. The water flow sensor typically has three main wires or pins. Red wire, VCC, this is the power wire. It connects to the positive terminal of your power supply, usually 5 volts. Black wire, GND, this is the ground wire and is connected to the ground pin of your microcontroller or power source. Yellow wire, signal, this is the signal wire. It outputs pulses corresponding to the water flow rate which are sent to your microcontroller for measurement. Here's how you can connect the water flow sensor to an Arduino. Connect the red wire to the 5V pin on the Arduino. Connect the black wire to the GND pin. And finally, connect the yellow wire to a digital input pin, such as pin 2. Now let's move to the LCD display. It's powered by the same 5V and GND pins of the Arduino. The data lines, SDA and SCL, are connected to analog pins of 4 and a 5 respectively. If you want to try it yourself, scan this QR code to download the Arduino sketch for the water flow sensor. Now, let's talk about some important safety measures to keep in mind. First, power supply safety. Use the correct voltage, typically 5V. Exceeding this can damage the sensor. Next, secure mounting install the sensor properly to avoid leaks and inaccurate readings. Keep electronics dry, keep Arduino, wires, and components away from water to prevent short circuits. Use a relay module when controlling high power devices like pumps or motors. Use a relay module to isolate the low voltage Arduino setup from high voltage equipment, ensuring safety. A controlled testing test with low water pressure, first to avoid damaging the sensor's turbine wheel. Stay safe and enjoy your DIY project. Water flow sensors are used everywhere. They help farmers water their crops efficiently, save water at home, and even assist scientists in cool experiments. You can even use them to create your own smart watering system. Now you know what a water flow sensor is, how it works, and how to use it to create innovative projects. So, what will you build today? 
Let's make water flow smartly. So stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Like and subscribe to the channel.